Violence and gangs plaguing our community. It's simple right now. People fed up. But tonight, there's a new plan to curb the violence. Now, we all know crime is a problem across the metro, and Atlanta News First is here to bring you some solutions. From Georgia's top prosecutor to a local hip-hop artist, we've got team coverage for you. Let's begin with Atlanta News First, Rachel Aragon. She's live from West Midtown, the very street where two teens were gunned down. Rachel? Yeah, Tracy Steele is also saying, though, this past week they're seeing gang members recruit and lure children more and more. We also know just last month, in fact, a third arrest made in a shooting that happened right here, if you recall, off the 17th Street Bridge, killing a 12-year-old and a 15-year-old. The teens arrested facing murder and gang charges, and now state leaders are taking action. Governor Brian Kemp sending a clear message to Georgians. Curbing violent crime is a top priority. But now this fight is entering a new phase. A fight with a focus on gangs. We're seeing more gang activity where gang members, adults, are recruiting children into the gang. That's why Attorney General Chris Carr and the governor are proposing legislation that will increase penalties for those trying to recruit children into a gang. A move Carr believes will help deter what his office has been seeing. Uh, we have a case out of Barrow County um, where the gang literally came and with ice cream trucks to recruit kids. If you're an adult that's recruiting a child to carry guns or money or drugs or whatever it may be, you're recruiting a child. Uh, it's immoral and as the governor said, we're going to come after you. The fight against gangs luring children in Metro Atlanta is ongoing. So we need to start as young as we poss as possibly can and show children but your record matters. Orrin Hudson, once in a gang during his early years, is now the founder of Be Someone, a nonprofit helping steer young people away from a life of crime. I realize people judge you based on the moves you make. So what am I teaching? I'm teaching people to make good moves. Georgia's gang prosecution unit in the office of the attorney general has indicted over 50 gang members since it started last July. State leaders say legislation focusing on prosecuting gang members will do even more to help protect Georgia's kids and young adults. Let me be clear. You come after our children, we will be coming after you. Now, again, it was just last year that the state legislature passed a bill giving the authority for the Office of the Attorney General to work with local law enforcement and district state's attorney's offices to prosecute gangs statewide. Pretty live in West Midtown, Rachel Aragon, Atlanta News First.